the one and two set off starters had a good day and that was no exception cordyceps and my darling and flying victory right up on the speed deeper out regency bobo stepped okay and Purton has to push and shove him a little to get up into the early fray he won't have the pace to lead my darling and flying victory crossover Settle down in one, two positions. Cordyceps is handy. So too Fenrir deeper out. Right there, Regency Bobo getting a little squeeze with Precious Ship and Star Majestic making it a real congestion down there on the rail as they work through the first bend now. Two further back, King of Hearts outside of Charizard. Covering three deep territory is Beauty Energy from Jolly Convergence, Marzook. Defining moments back towards the rear and last of all is Great Treasure. Fenrir is putting pressure on My Darling, striding to the 500. Regency Bobo flying victory and Cordyceps is coming at them. Or oh, there's some shouldering out there from flying victory. Precious Ship, Star Majestic down on the rail. The leader My Darling slipped away from Fenrir. Now Regency Bobo starting to get into top gear and King of Hearts down the middle. Beauty Energy from the back, but My Darling still with a break Regency Bobo King of Hearts it's been a day already for Karis Teton he's out after my darling my darling King of Hearts great treasure and Charizard blanket finish King of Hearts great treasure King of Hearts it's a five for Karis Teton King of Hearts what a day has defeated great treasure in a thriller and Charizard down on the rail. They steam through and overhauled my darling in the shadows of the post star majestic close up there are a couple of eye catches as well. Beauty Energy and Defining Moment from the back. Followed then at the head of the others by Marzouk. And then Cordyceps, who weakened out. So too did Precious Ship, Jolly Convergence. And Flying Victory, one of the last in. So a real screamer to the final race of the day. King of Hearts.